A world not too far in the grand scale of the cosmos, LHS 1140b, is a planet that might boast skies and possibly oceans, somewhat akin to our own Earth. Located just 49 light years away in the constellation Cetus, this exoplanet, through observations from the James Webb Space Telescope, is emerging as a front runner in our quest for liquid water and perhaps life beyond our solar system. In this video, we will delve into the fascinating characteristics of LHS 1140b, exploring its potential to support life and what makes it a unique candidate for further study. So without further ado, let's get started. Discovered in 2017 by the Mirth Project, LHS 1140b quickly became a subject of intense interest among astronomers. This exoplanet is located in a region of the sky dominated by the constellation Cetus, often referred to as the Whale. At a cosmic stone's throwaway of 49 light years, it offers a rare opportunity for detailed study, particularly with the advanced instruments we have today. From the outset, this exoplanet was a puzzle. Initial observations suggested it could be a mini Neptune, a type of planet with qualities between those of Earth and the gas giants like Neptune. This category of planets, while intriguing, often indicates environments too hostile or volatile for life as we understand it. However, LHS 1140b also showed potential signs of being a rocky terrestrial planet, which captured the interest of scientists considering the prospects for habitability. The new data collected by Webb strongly points towards this exoplanet being more of an icy, potentially watery world rather than a gas giant. This revelation comes from a detailed analysis of the planet's transit across its host star, which allows scientists to examine the backlight from the star filtered through the planet's atmosphere, a technique known as transmission spectroscopy. The habitable zone is the key term here. This is because this exoplanet orbits within this zone around its red dwarf star, a zone where temperatures are just right for liquid water to exist. This positioning is crucial because water is a cornerstone of life as we know it. The planet's size and mass further complicate the picture, being 1.7 times the size of Earth and about seven times its mass, it falls into the category of a super-Earth. These planets are particularly exciting because they could have thick atmospheres and potentially support water in various forms, from vapor to liquid to ice. So given its proximity and the clarity with which we can study it, this planet stands out in the cosmic crowd. It represents a bridge between the often abstract concept of exoplanets and the more tangible, researchable celestial bodies that could answer the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? Initial results from Webb suggest that this exoplanet might host a nitrogen-rich atmosphere, similar to Earth's. This is an eye-opening hint because a nitrogen-dominated atmosphere can stabilize a planet's climate and support the presence of liquid water at the surface. Such an atmosphere could buffer the temperature swings and radiation effects from the host star, making conditions potentially amenable to life. However, confirming the presence of nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and other vital gases in this planet's atmosphere requires more observation. Each pass of the planet in front of its star offers a unique opportunity to capture more data, enhancing our understanding of its atmospheric composition. These observations also help astronomers model the planet's climate and predict its surface conditions. Moreover, Webb's findings on this exoplanet challenge our understanding of planet formation and atmosphere retention in super-Earth's orbiting red dwarf stars. Red dwarfs are smaller and cooler than our sun, and they tend to exhibit more intense magnetic activity, which can strip away planetary atmospheres. That exoplanet retains such a substantial atmosphere suggests it may have protective mechanisms or a magnetic field shielding it from stellar winds. Future observations scheduled with Webb will focus on further characterizing the planet's atmosphere and searching for signs of water and other essential molecules. Each transit of this exoplanet across its star provides precious data that enhances our models and predictions about its atmosphere. Scientists are particularly eager to detect water vapor, 
carbon dioxide, and other trace gases that could indicate active geological or even biological processes. The path to these discoveries is methodical and requires patience. Webb can only observe the planet's transit a few times a year, meaning that building a complete picture of this exoplanet's atmospheric makeup may take several years. However, each piece of data adds to a growing body of knowledge that could eventually confirm the presence of an ocean, or even life, in another world. Moreover, the study of this exoplanet helps astronomers develop better techniques for examining exoplanets in general. In the grander scheme, this exoplanet could serve as a prototype for future missions aimed at finding Earth-like planets. Missions such as the proposed Louvoir or HabEx telescopes could take the next steps, potentially directly imaging exoplanets and analyzing their surfaces and atmospheres in even more detail. As we continue to monitor this exoplanet and await new data, the excitement within the scientific community and the public grows. Each finding not only brings us closer to understanding whether we are alone in the universe, but also teaches us more about the diverse types of planets that exist in our galaxy. The search for life in the cosmos goes on, and LHS 1140b is at the forefront of this cosmic quest. Thank you for joining this astronomical journey. Keep your eyes on the stars, and who knows what we'll discover next.